Okay, all you folks out there in uh, internet land, this, I've been working on this snowblower for about three months. It's totally restored. Uh, it's never been started since I painted it and reassembled it. I just put uh, two inches of gas in the tank. I primed it with primer. I'll do a little more of that. It's in neutral. We've got about three quarters throttle, full choke, and it should start without tearing across the hatch. Just be very careful here. Well, hello out there. Uh, it's Bruce here, and I'm just uh, inserting some audio files uh, where there's uh, no audio on the video. The uh, poor mic on my laptop isn't a uh, very good mic, and uh, it went into feedback after I started the snowblower. So that's what's happened. Um, so during the video itself, you'll see that I've uh, started up the snowblower, and I'm adjusting the, uh, oh, the choke and the throttle, and then I, uh, I move it forward a little bit, checking the drive, remembering that this has never been started since I reassembled it. And then I actually uh, put the uh, snowblower auger in, into uh, gear and check that all very nervously. So you can see uh, that I am quite nervous when I do it. And during the slow parts of the video, I have speeded the video up from two times to eight times. Thank you. Well, that was probably boring for you, but I did get it running. Well, I'm back. You'll see that I had a tiny bit of audio at the end when I turned the snowblower off and the feedback went away. So the next part of this uh, small presentation are the uh, pictures I took with my digital camera. And you'll notice that the, uh, the first three pictures are the uh, snowblower when I brought it home and I paid $35 for it. Uh, and the next group of pictures are the uh, disassembly and you'll see that at the back of that green housing I pulled the pulley off and I totally destroyed that pulley taking it off and uh, I had to uh, eventually get two different pulleys to put it all together. I then uh, proceeded to sand everything down and uh, get everything ready for paint. Uh, that took me a long time. The, uh, the big housing which uh, holds the auger, I uh, sanded, primed and painted that and uh, as we move along, you'll see that uh, each piece of the snowblower was, uh, to the best of my ability, sanded and painted. Um, uh, I put a lot of pieces on the bench for two, two days to dry before I actually assembled everything. And then uh, you'll also see that uh, first attempt at my pulley, uh, the cast iron one that d doesn't cover the shaft quite far enough. Uh, and then I took a some more pictures of the uh, trouble spots. One was the uh, the auger room gear. Uh, I painted the chains on the tires. I put in a uh, what you might call a, a period correct bleed cock on the metal tank. And uh, moving along from there, I uh, painted the chrome handlebars black, which took a lot of sanding. Uh, and then I finally got the snowblower re rebuilt and reassembled and uh, I put some stickers on the uh, snowblower that weren't John Deere stickers because I couldn't find them. But anyway, thanks a lot.